doing nothing. Don't worry, I will give you today something else which raise your skills of English very well. Are you ready? Let's start. That is called three modes of a sentence. It means a sentence has three different varieties, but there is only one meaning in Hindi. Let's start the first mode that is called Jiran mode. Do you know what is Jiran? If you don't, then I will tell you. Jiran is a verb form. Jiran is B4 forms. Now you think B4 forms. So I just uh, gonna to make it clear that uh, when B4 is used in the place of subject and object. When B4 is used in the place of subject and object, that is called Have some examples like we can say smoking is smoking is a bad habit. Look at here, smoking it is a in form of before. Uh, it is used in a place of subject that is called gerund. We take another example. I like playing. I like playing. It is also gerund and it is also used in a place of object. Then uh, it is clear that uh, gerund is a before form which is used uh, in a place of subject or object. The first mode is called gerund. We take example in Hindi. किसी को धोखा देना बुरी बात है किसी को धोखा देना बुरी बात है then uh, what do we call in English धोखा देना that is called deceive in Jiran deceiving deceiving someone is a uh, bad thing. Deceiving someone is a bad thing. The second mode that is called infinitive to mode. Infinitive to mode. It also act like a gerund. It is also used in a place of subject or object. We will take example. Smoke is a bad habit. In a place of object, I like to play. To play, to smoke. It is used in the place of subject. To play is used in the place of object. That is called infinitive to. The second mode is called infinitive to mode. We can easily change into uh, gerund. Uh, we, can, we can easily change the gerund mode into infinitive mode. To deceive someone is a bad thing. To deceive someone is a bad thing. The last third mode is called. Dummy it mode. Points are to be noted. There are two dummies in 
animals. The first we know it, the second there. There are no meaning in a, when it is used in a place of subject, but uh, it must be used. We can change the infinitive to mode into the meat mode. First we write it, then is, it is a bad thing to deceive someone. It is a bad thing to deceive someone. So I have three varieties of sentence, of a sentence, kisi ko dhoka dena buri baat hai. Deceiving someone is a bad habit. To deceive someone is a ba bad thing. It is a bad thing to deceive someone. Deceiving someone is a bad thing. To deceive someone is a bad thing. It is a bad thing to deceive someone. We can, uh, students, we just uh, take a lot of examples. Because you have a much time and uh, you span, is you have just uh, you span your time with uh, this concept and apply this concept while speaking with speaking with with someone. See you soon with new concept. And I think so. This concept you will be like. If you like this concept, then uh, subscribe this channels. Give your comment in the comment box and uh, give you a suggestion too uh, and I think so I will uh, give you a lot of uh, videos in upcoming uh, days and uh, you just apply take care bye bye have a nice day